Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. Ghost Runner 2 is having crashing issue, it is not launching, won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, black screen and even stuck on loading screen and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start, click on this power icon, go for a simple restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to try for launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So right now, as you can see, we are in the Steam. So that is why we are having the error. So we just need to try launch the game from the installation folder. So we have a shortcut. Just click on the game, right click and go to the properties. Now go for install it file. Just click on browse, this will take you to the installation folder. If you go back over here, you can see that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam Amps, common, Ghost Runner 2 demo is running over here. So we just need to try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. This is what we have to do. So try launch the game from the installation folder. This might work. After trying with this, if the issue is still there, we can move to the next two steps, which I can show you from here itself. That, we, that is, we just need to go for run the game as an administrator. So just right click over here and we have to go to the show more options, go to the properties, go to the compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. If running the game as an administrator is not working, we can also try running the game in the compatibility mode. So just go over here, right click, we have to go for show more options, go to the properties, go to compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode. We have to set this to Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK or we have to set this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK and try launch the game. So once after done with this one, if the issue is still there, we can try with the next one that is all about. We can try with, you know, the next one that is all about. We have to make sure the date, time and region should be correct. So just go over here in the search. Now go for the settings. Now go for over here in the time and language. Now go to the date and time. So make sure the time and time zone and this has to be turned on, which is very important. And also once you set this up, just go back, select the language and region. Now from here, we have to set this to United States if you're from United States. And if you're from United Kingdom, you have to set this to United Kingdom. And if you're from any other country, you have to do it accordingly. Once after you're done with this one, you just need to go back and we just need to go back once again. And we just need to try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is going to work or not. If still it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to try launching the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. That's going to work for you like a charm. So just press Alt and Tab together from the keyboard and that's going to work for you guys as well. Even tried with this, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. That is all about we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer and we just need to go over here in this PC and we have to go over here in the documents. Now from here you have to see whether the game is over there or not. If the game is not over here you can navigate to the my games. Now from here you will be able to find the ghost runner 2 and if you find the folder just delete it. And keep in mind when you do this you will be losing everything. That is the most important part. So even for some users this end up in mess. For some users it's not an issue. So just uh, remove everything and once after done with this one we just need to close this go back and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is the next one that is all about we have to allow the game to windows security so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to just go over here uh, you know we just need to go over here in the settings for me we just need to go over here not the settings we just need to go over here just go over here in the search and we have to go for the control panel now go over here in the system security, go for a Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to, we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to Ghost Runner 2. So keeps hence it is an alphabet, it is fine for us. So just click on the Ghost Runner 2 demo over here. And as you can see, we have to make sure both the private and public has to be selected because uh, you know uh, you know we have to set this to both the private and public and once you set this up it is quite important and imagine the game is not here for some cases the game will not be there so if that is the case we have to add it by default so if we just click on over here in the change settings just go for allow another app we have to navigate to the browse and we have to go over here in this pc and we have to navigate to the local sc and go to the program file x86 
keep scrolling down and navigate to steam and we have to navigate to the steam apps and we have to go to common now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to ghost runner 2 demo and we have to select this and go for open and we have to go for add so i'm getting the error because the game is already added that is why i'm getting the error so once we add the game we can try launch the game and still if it's not working the next one is all about we have to try with move to the next step that is all about nothing but we have to unplug all the usb devices so as you can see the usb devices might be connected all the time because we might be try or depending on the multiple controllers we might be depending on the multiple monitors we might be depending on a lot of things so this even caused the issue up so we just what we need just to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things we just need to unplug everything and afterwards we just need to try launch the game and once the game is successfully launched we just need to uh, you know you can connect back the controllers if the issue is with the controller or if the issue is with any other thing we just connect it back and we can try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay which is a very important step so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties and over here as you can see enable the steam while in game if this is turn it on we have to turn this off once you turn this off try launch the game and that will be working fine and also you can try with the launch option you can try with the launch option that is dx11 dx11 is what we need to try give the dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game so either the dx11 will be working or the dx11 will be 12 will be working fine as well next one is nothing but what we need to do is we just need to roll back the uh, not roll back the drivers we have to go for the perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search navigate to the system configuration from here navigate to the services and we have to go for disable or we'll go for hide all microsoft services and we have to go for apply and go for okay this particular step is asking to go for the restart so the users are watching this you have to go for restart because a restart can fix a lot of issues so just go for the restart in any other one exit apart from this one the use uh, i mean uh, for me i have to go for exit without restart because uh, you know we're in the middle of shooting so that's gonna affect us so just go for restart and once afterwards try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not next one is all about nothing but we have to go for close all the overlay application so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so there are 53 apps running in the background and each of them are actually affecting us so what we need to do is we just need to go over here we need to find the unwanted things for example you know discord river tuner msc afterburner all these things are why we are having the crashing issue so just go over here and select the unwanted things and we have to remove it once you remove it we have to end it up and once afterwards just close everything we have to go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine the next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card go over here in the search and we have to navigate to the graphics settings from here we just need to navigate to the browse and we have to navigate to the game so let me click on the browse first and i have to navigate to this pc we have to go to local disk c go to program for x86 keep scrolling down navigate to steam go for steam apps and go for common and we have to navigate to ghost runner 2 demo and we have to select this one and go for add so once the game is added just click on the option and we have to go over here in the high performance once you save this you are fine with it and once afterwards just close everything go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so we just need to go over here and we just need to go over here we have to navigate to the view advanced system setting go to the advanced go for settings once again advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed and go for custom size and set the value for initial size and we have to set the value 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is three times the total ram so just go over here and we need a calculator so just type your ram 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5 so that is 14 and 152 uh, so just copy this paste it next one we have to set this to maximum size 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this we have to paste it and set everything okay and once you're done with this one we just need to close everything and we have to go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the windows just go over here in the search navigate to settings go for windows update and just update the windows keep in mind when you're updating the windows or if the windows is in the lower versions you'll be definitely having the issue 
So it is quite important that we have to update the windows to the latest versions or else we'll be having the trouble down the road. So just update it and if you're getting any kind of pending update just go for the update and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back try launch the game. Next one, what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go over here and select everything like your product type and product series should be selected and the product should be selected and the operating system it is Windows 11 and go for start search. Now when you go for the start search as you can see I'll be getting these options so the driver version 545.92 which is the latest released versions on October 26th 2023 is what we need to download and install. So even if you go for AMD you can just go over here in the details over here and go for this one and go for submit and if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you can try downloading this one and uh, you can try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus so if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launching the game that is what we have to do so even after tried with this, if the issue is still there, you can try with the last step. That is all about, we have to try uninstalling the game and we have to reinstall it back. Just go over here in the game, go to the manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, it should not be depending on local disk C, but you have to depend on a new local disk. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try verify integrity of game file, which is actually a very important step. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties, go to the installed file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So just weigh this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what we have to do next. So once everything is successfully done, you will be getting this message or else you will be getting a message like it's not validated. So if that is the case, we have to validate it. Now once afterwards, try launch the game and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workarounds which can be done. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Peace out. Bye bye.